yeah, th these are double survivor outfits. That was a double survivor. Oh, wait a minute. Tsubasa gets that outfit for Ray from Persona Q. Uh oh. This lore. Uh, deepest lore. Um, I was a Shin Megami Tensei fan, but I'd be geeking out over that. Hmm. Toma, Toma gets the samurai, samurai out. I think this is supposed to be, um, uh... What was his name from Shin Megami Tensei 4? Okay, uh, oh, this is an oil scroller. <laughs> and baseball game instrumentation for this remix. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's creative, I'll give him that. It's definitely one of the... Nice. That was that was good performance, though. We get their ship themes. Uh, th this is what definitely one of my least favorite airship themes, cause, just because of how, w how weird it is. But I'll give them an A, a plus for give be being unique about it, I guess. I'm just kind of surprised about the just total lack of bars in it. Yeah, I guess. I guess they knew uh, when not to use it in this case because that would completely ruin the tension. All right, and now Itsuki is wearing a brand new costume. Now we're wearing the Devil Two Hours Two outfit. So I think I think I. Uh, I think I uh, summed up my thoughts on these remade airship stages decently well last time. Uh, but what? How do you guys feel about these? Like, how do you guys? What do you guys think about airship levels? Okay. Uh, how do you guys feel about airship levels? Period. First off, and how well do you think these levels like uh, redesigned or like brought them back? I like them better than Mario Three. Yeah, agreed. Didn't, I didn't really play enough of Mario 3 to get a proper opinion on it, but I died a lot on the one airship level I did play, so... Yeah, I those... Better? Those... Yeah, the, the Mario 3 airship levels like, can sometimes uh, reach bullet hell uh, at points, I feel. Did like, like Mario World having a sunken airship as a kind of ghost level that was clever? Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. And Galaxy has ostensibly had some airship levels, and those were good. Yeah, I really like the ones, uh, the, like the uh, second Bowser Jr. stage. That one's a really good one. His, his, uh, Junior's theme in that game is also, or Galaxy in general, is also really kick ass. Soon, Harry, we'll get to it soon. Yeah. Uh, what do you- what about- do you have anything else, Jason? What? About the airships? Yeah. Airship! They're very high up. <laughs> My airship is the only way to fly. <laughs> is this thing on? Haha! <laughs> uh -huh. So, so rent it to Cortex. Make a sucker. Hey, genius. I can't actually hear you right now. I'm hiring really flying like a hovercraft or something. Jumping. Oh, oh, but now, oh, but now we have a new session skill. Okay. Okay, okay I'm done. <laughs> Jumping sessions. Jumpins are a session skill unique to those who do not normally participate in battle. Say what you will, uh, whether, like, it- Right. Oh. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay. You think, Scrabby? I was, I was just telling Harry to wait before he went down the pipe. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, say what you will about the Radical Era or Crash. The car scenes in those games are just so fun to listen to. Oh, golden this enemy got away! This is an interesting boss battle. Oh yeah, this is really fun. You basically just play bumper cars with the clown cars. It's like... I don't know if you me I've mentioned this yet, but... Bowser Jr. has some of the most fun and creative boss fights in the series, and this is definitely one of them. It's like... A lot of the bosses in this game are pretty standard, but like... Um... I don't know, I, I like that the Jr. bosses like mix things up a bit, so it's like... Something a bit more unique. Compared to the rest. Oh, but, 
It helped that you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying here, uh, J Jason? Well, no, I'm just focusing on Pokemon. Okay. It helped that. It helped that unlike. Oof. God oh, dang. It helped that unlike new Mario One, you didn't have to fight him eight times in a row. Yeah, Mario. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. DS is the one time where Junior has like really weak source boss fights. Uh, but. Now, everything else that he's in, he's had pretty solid boss fights, like, starting with Sunshine, I can't really, f like, again, besides Mario Bros. DS, I can't really think of a game where he has mediocre bosses in it. Your is Harvard inside the rebellious Joker costume! I mean, the fact that he's, like, uh, the- Oh, this is. <laughs> The fact that he's like na like naturally like weaker than his dad makes him have to be a lot more creative with the stuff he uses, which honestly makes for bosses that are way more fun and interesting than the ones with his dad most of the time. Like the Bowser fight in this the, Joker the Bowser fight in this game is really cool, uh, but we'll get to that. But I don't know. I have the Joker outfit. Because like, a lot of people say, like, Junior, like, as a character, he, I mean, he can be annoying, but that's also kind of the point. But removing that, he just generally has some of the best bosses in the series, so it's like... I... I mean... Whenever he's in a game, he's usually bound to have at least one good boss fight. Here's a Dr. Eggman of Mario games. He really is. He's even got his own little floating orb of doom, and they pretty much keep him in that in every other game now. Yeah. Oh, dear. I do like, like the Junior Clown car, it's interesting. Yeah. And like, I like how they like made it like some like a death machine in the Smash 4 trailer. It's like that was like intense as hell for a junior trailer. That's why I find that people, oh no, we can't make so-and-so look badass in a trailer. No, they made a little turtle boy look threatening. It's a... Yeah, he made- Don't doubt the devs. They, they, made, they made Junior look more threatening than uh, Bowser himself in, in most games. Like, I think the most threatening Bowser has been is probably Galaxy 1. He basically destroyed the galaxy by yeah. mistake. Yeah. Oh, oh Shibasa's oh, version of the, uh... Of a song, of, of, a, of a song is playing. Hmm. But like when I think of Galaxy One, like, like Bowser has like a, 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 has like a massive presence at the start of the game, and it like, it's like that's probably the most uh, uh, threatening he's been in a in a game, like period. Straight up, like, like Galaxy One's prologue kind of feels like a terrorist attack. It really does. Friggin', like there's fire raining down from the sky. Toads are getting frozen in crystal. And you can't save them because you don't have the spin yet. I've tr like I've tried. It's like it's like impossible. I hope I didn't go too far forward. I'm gonna hope not. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. But I like like. I mean, I hope I hope we don't end up like limiting what we say for later games, but. Yeah. That opening is something else. It was trying its hardest to be the steward. Nintendo was trying hard. Mario was going to an edgy phase in 2007. <laughs> yeah. I say on the matter. It's funny when uh, Bowser. to say, like, Bowser's a lot more threatening when he's in normal size than he is in big size with Galaxy 2 because. I like the. Uh, I, it's, I find it funny that Nintendo's idea was uh, just to make Bowser stupidly big again to make him seem more threatening when it didn't really work. Well, I don't know, like, Bowser just seemed to have more presence in the original. Yeah, more presence because they actually tried to have some semblance of a story. Yeah. It's interesting because according to Chugger, uh, there was gonna be more story in Galaxy 2, like, 
apparently like about how Laba first met Rosalina or something, and that's like... Apparently Miyamoto decided to remove it from the game because uh, he he thought that Galaxy 1 had too much story in it and he didn't want the same thing to happen or something. It's really dumb. Oh my... Is it, we, I think it's been pretty well established that he's very anti-story. Yeah, and I couldn't disagree more to be honest. I give... I care very little about the plot in Mario platformers and didn't really care much for Rosalina's backstory and Galaxy 1, so... I mean... Uh, I like some... No story. I mean, it's fine. Like, it's very Disney princess-like, but the fact that there was a full-fledged backstory for a character was a nice change of pace yeah, for Mario. Yeah, boy, we're Joker! <laughs> Joker boy. more interesting yeah. than her personality. <laughs> That's fair. We're Joker boy! Yeah. I mean, that's fair. I'm Joker. <laughs> Woo! I love it. All right. I'm sorry, I'm basking in this because I love it. <laughs> also, bubbles in the uh. This is a cool game. A... This is a cool game. There was a right? mini game in Mario Party 7 with this exact same thing. Oh, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. I love about. that mini game. Mm. Yeah, this is, a, this is a cool uh. This is a cool level gimmick. Let me know if you see anything in the clouds, because it's kind of hard to tell. So, okay, I think that's nothing. God, so, 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 I guess, um... Out of the eight themes uh, of these games, what 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 kind of what themes in these games stand out tend to stand out to you the most? Hmm? Like in the new in these new in the new Super Mario Bros. series, uh, what like... what what world themes tend to stick out to you the most in these games? No, okay, uh, not music themes, I mean like world themes. In these games specifically. Oh. Mountain. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Mount uh, it's mainly mountain, yeah. Um. It's not much of a surprise coming from me, but uh, the snow worlds tend to. Uh, tend to do a lot for me most of the time. And sometimes the Bowser worlds, uh, to, um, in a lot of cases. Okay. It also... Oh. I guess it also depends on the type of level gimmick associated with them as well. Are all these arrows pointing? Uh, the secrets. Up and down all around. Secrets, I suppose. What about you, Scrapper? I was gone while you were doing that because my dogs were barking. Oh, okay. Let's see what she was. That's fine. I was just asking. Red level motif. Yeah, I was saying, like, out of the new Super Mario Bros. series specifically, what world tropes, like, like, s stick out to you the most as, like, Either just being really fun and memorable, or just what what sticks out to you the most, I guess, just in general. The heck am I missing? Oh, okay. Go down. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> That's anticlimactic. Uh, probably the snow levels. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, probably I'm probably just speaking from a position of bias because of that one painting level in Mario U, but <laughs> generally look fine. 
I like the beach levels too. We didn't really have a proper beach world in a Mario game until then. That's tr yeah, that's true. I'm not <laughs> too much of a fan of how many water levels are uh, are in the beach level in DS, but yeah. Hi, how are you? How are ya? Oh okay. god, those ugly freaks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have much of a choice, so... Okay, this is one of these levels, so I'm ex I'm fully god. expecting... Uh... Damn, why are they so ugly? <laughs> That's a good question. Because you don't give them a chance. There you. <laughs> I'm a chance in Super Mario World, and I hated them back then, too. <laughs> and they... It's really weird seeing them, like, in 3D with Galaxy 2. I don't recall them looking that ugly in Galaxy 2. Goodness gracious. Well, yeah. But... Oh, hey. Oh. It looked oh. troubled. Oh, this is not- oh, this is not for Kiki. They make the- that look like the original outplay. I feel like there's gonna be, like, some secret block somewhere. Do you like this game for introducing some enemies that we hadn't yep. seen in a while? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't seen the fuzzies for, for a while, have we? Back to Ninji. Where was that? They bring back the ninjis or ninja, however they pronounce them, and the pidgets. Hmm. Oh yeah. Our Mario 2 just has a lot of enemies they just didn't use ever again. Yeah. Oh crap. We're lucky to even get Birdo in a mainline game. Yeah. Dang, I like... they're ugly. <laughs> and now I can kill them. They don't look- they're called fuzzies, but they don't really look fuzzy, they just look like spiked balls. Yeah. Your guess where I'm hiding? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I know there's a secret exit in some level that sends you, like, into a- like, up- higher up in the clouds or something, but I don't know which level that is. I'm assuming it's just a ghost house or something, but... Can I have Ludwig? Forget, do we fight the Kooplings in their Mario 3 order, or is it a different order? I think yeah, it's... Right. Yeah, I think it's a different order in every game they're in. Ludwig, Ludwig was number 5, I believe, in the, in, um, the world. Yeah, wasn't it like... No, he's, Ludwig is... Ludwig, how you pronounce his name, is number 4 in Super Mario World. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is I think, it? I think, I think more in was like three. This is the second. Oh. Isn't like Larry or something the last one? Or is it like? Early, yes, but he's the best Koopalink, so that's okay. <laughs> was it Iggy first? I yeah. think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like Iggy, Morton, Lemmy, Ludwig, Roy, Wendy, Larry. That's really weird. I I'm so used to seeing like Ludwig as the last one at the uh, now. Hey, hey, it's, hey, it's, hey, it's Anna. Yay! Yo! <laughs> what am I doing here, ho? See you, you soon! Like very important task, ho. This level also really sucks yep. for dying on, because you have to do all this stuff again if you die, and it's, like, so long-winded. This reminds me, this reminds me of that one particular level in, um, in, um, World, in the, in the special. Mm. The one with the, the one, it kind of reminds me of, it kind of, oh, my, oh, oh, sorry, I, oh, wait, oh, no, my stream just, my video just caught up, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was on the level with the fuzzy still. Oh my god, the hell? I don't care anymore. <laughs> Can you see I'm not focusing? That's fine. It, it's not so simple on my own, perhaps Joe T, help yeah. me, help? 
huh? You do everything, but you you gotta check when you already got two of the star coins. Okay, I remember. I remember this. This being. This is actually kind of tricky because like you actually need a bomb bomb to break some blocks or something, I believe, and uh, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world. I need four more of these. You can find them from Dark Mage in Keyhole. <laughs> yeah, this is kind I love of... her. <laughs> this is kind of Sorry, weird. Just... This is one love... of them. I just love Anna yeah, talking with Jack Frostbeak. <laughs> yeah. They're all key hole for the place, so you'll just want to look around, ho! Yeah, there we go. It's not... Yeah. <laughs> we need to use the bombs <laughs> for that. Guess I'll be he heading in back now. Uh, Farewell, ho! I hate this so much. Bye-bye, ho! Her dialogue goes bye-bye, ho! This is, like, the most awkward thing. Please go down. Oh, God. Do you want to just commit seppuku? Because this is... I have the oh, the screen's God. froze up for me so I can't even see where you are right now. Do you want me to just reload the thing? I can hear the, I can hear the sound of it, I just can't see the screen. Oh, let me... I, mean, I can see the screen, it's just frozen. Yeah, let me... I'm just gonna... Oh, I just died anyway. Let me just reset the screen. Excuse <laughs> me. Let's see the dislikes or like ratio, because that's apparently where we're at now. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about this stage at this point. Oh my god. Such a mess! That's not gonna hurt. I hate this so much. Well, I want to point out for in three days, Violet thing had 39,000 dislikes. Dang. Or not 39, 69. Okay. Alt. Okay, as of today, January 19th, this special upload, uploaded January 16th, has 100. Wait, hold on. It has 130,441 likes to 74,087 dislikes. Dang. What? What's the Byleth one at right now, actually? Oh, okay. Uh, but this, this is the Byleth video. Oh, okay. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, doesn't help the- Yeah, the spells, like, make it really hard to just get a drop on him. Okay, we got two. I think we sh- Oh, I ran I'm alone tonight because my- because everybody in the house is out. Oh yeah, we got him, finally. And then I should probably be closing my doors right now. <laughs> I should be locking my front door since I, I'm not expecting anybody tonight. Mm. I, no, really, I'm gonna be alone tonight, all night. Oh, man. But nobody, it's, it's see, nobody's been in the house for at least six hours. Mm. Hey, well, at, on the bright side, you don't have to worry about people been yelling. Yeah. And that toad will be crying for help for all eternity. Do you even get anything besides like the general rewards? Do you even get anything for saving the toads? Like probably never start. Yeah, but like uh is there like a act like a final reward for getting I think you I think well I think it gives you items. Yeah. I mean they they give you like a mushroom or a star or something, but like is you is there like a finite amount of toads and if you get all of them do you get like a star on the menu like to do it nab it? Yeah, or like or like a um bonus message or something. Like does anything like that happen or is it just is is it just I don't know. Yeah, because I never bothered with it. The stars are beating the game, getting all the star coins, beating M beating beating World 9. Getting all the star coins in world 9, and I think getting all the secret exits. Mm. It's five stars, and then I think yeah. it's glowy. I think they all shine if you don't get a game over. Uh, no, they shine if you don't get a, a super guide. Which, uh... Oh. By this point, we're on... Uh, by this oh, point... Mean, it, it's on, the guide block does not show up. 
Yeah, if, you, if the super guy block doesn't show up, then your stars become shiny. If it does that show up... Um, it, it's, not taking it, it's not taking it if it shows up. Yeah. Which, I think, do, do we have that, that happen at all? No, super guy hasn't shown up yet, so we're en route to getting it, but... It's just still... That might change by the end, if we're going for the star coins. Yeah, that might change. That I'm surprised it didn't happen in the last level. <laughs> Because I, I, I probably got dangerously close to having it show up there. Well, don't you think I did not only spawn at the start of the level? Uh, I think they just, I, I, I think, but I, I'm pretty, I'm, I seem to recall them showing up, uh, like, what, like, pre pretty much, like, your starting point from the level, including from, ch from checkpoints, so, I could be wrong, but... Pretty sure. Crabby, what's that? What's the dislike bar on Federation first? Oh yeah. god. Not an accurate guess because they had to, I think they took down the Federation Force video and then re uploaded it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Are they disabled comments? I don't know. What did they do? Uh, yeah. Let me check. They probably did. Or oh, both. Oh, oh. So that was a. <laughs> that was an interesting time on the internet. Oh god, uh, the internet, the internet, the internet was, 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 was literally in the hellfire. Yeah. I don't blame people, though, to be quite honest, because it's like, you, you have, you have a franchise that's, uh, that's been laid dormant for, I don't even know, when did Federation Force get announced? 2015. Yeah. It was a whopping five years. Oh gosh, the horrors. I mean, uh, the ratio was 10,840 likes to 94,285 dislikes, and yeah. 90% certain they, up, they re uploaded this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think the issue, with, the issue is like. I mean, yeah, that, that is. It, it could. That could be. It could be a longer time. But it's also the fact that, like, the last game was Other M, which was, like, one of the most polarizing games ever made. And it's like. You the the game you come back with is a spin-off, um, which understandably would uh, make a lot of people upset. It's like I do, I think it would make a lot more sense if they announced Semus Returns before then, and then like if Federation Force came out after that after that game. Well, when did Samus Returns even get announced? Huh? Well, when did Samus Returns even get announced? I think like 2017. Fish. Officially announced an E3, officially announced E3 2017, but Nintendo kind of let it sit, ugh, let it slip in 2014. Yeah, they were considering a new 2D Metroid. Hmm. Since it's a virtue. <clears throat> yeah. The point is though, like, uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't the best idea to bring the series back with a spin-off. Like, if there was like a main series Metroid game before then. I don't think people would have cared as much. Meanwhile, if, if, I mean, if we had, I mean, what was I gonna say? When you take spin-offs and remakes out of the running, other than yeah. still the last mainline game released. Yeah, well, that's also that's also why it that's that that's what that's also what makes it worse, though, is because uh, people like people wanted like wanted like another like an actual like good Metroid game again, and like, I don't know. I heard Federation Force actually isn't too bad of a game. I thought it's fine, yeah. Line, but, 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 uh, but obviously it was dead on arrival. Yeah. It's just bad timing, and really. Hit the, who hit the dislike button, button barred anyways. Yeah, it, it was, it, it was bad timing, really. Supposed to be out on the DS. <laughs> yeah. Where the heck is the lost star coin at? Those though. What are those? Just random crows, I guess. Those like are these like the cousins of those Raphael ravens and Yoshi's Island? I guess. Yes, I think crows and ravens are the same thing. Because I'm smart. Are oh, you talking about? Hmm. Well, no, Ra Raphael. Raphael, I believe, was. Uh... Uh, Raphael is Paper Mario. Oh, right. He's that. He's, they showed up in Yoshi's Island first, though. So. 
Well, yeah, yeah. but they're not called with that. With the, with the, with the, even the big boss is called not called Ralph. Ralph said Raphael. Not Raphael. The boss is Ralph the Raven. Oh. Wait, I'm going off of Melee's trophy information. I believe so. Anyway, it's been a while. Also, sorry for being nitpicky. <laughs> yeah. No, Ralph is just I... Raphael the Raven. Is the boss was the boss Raphael? Oh, Raphael. Oh. Oh, my Raphael. <laughs> Man, this this Ninja Turtles reaction was so weird. <laughs> I was expecting a Ninja Turtles joke at some point. Okay, uh, if you guys see well, anything suspicious, yeah. yeah, if you guys see anything sus suspicious, let me know, because I have no idea where this thing is. I have, um, well, it's a ghost house, so suspicious might not be what you're looking for. I mean, I've checked. Okay, I was incorrect. The regular, oh. reg Dead. regular raven. But regular ravens in Goshi's Island are just called ravens, but the boss okay. is Raphael. Okay. Oh, and the okay. enemies in New Mario Wii are called Krobers. Oh, alright. Yeah, don't. Are they the same crows? Wait, are they the same crows like those ones that you see with Star Luigi's Mansion? Oh! They're probably just regular crows, I guess. I mean, that'd be cool if they were the same crows. Nah. I mean, if you can check the model, that'd be kind of interesting. No, the booze are coming out to get me. Ah. Nah. Then again, normal, normal, normal animals in Mario would probably be weird. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, this. So you get to Odyssey, anyways. Yeah, I was gonna say like, well, we have Odyssey, and then you have like realistic dogs and birds in Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pele the beloved dog or something. Okay, this one screws me up because. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, that's the only p the pushing. <laughs> yeah. This one screws me up because like we just got the second star coin in that room, and this is the last room of the level. So it's like. I don't know why I love hot chicken. Yeah, that's amusing. Uh, there is a. <laughs> I love the mod, uh, where they replace. I think they replace Sonic with uh, Pele, and they replace Tails with Hatsune the pigeon. <laughs> Okay, I swear. Did they just have? Did, did they just function like Sonic and Tails? Yeah, pretty much. The model, the the model probably messes the hit. They're all swap. Yeah, the, the the model, the the really tiny models probably mess the hitboxes, but um, yeah, it's the same. No, 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 no. Hatsune needs the hitbox of Omega. <laughs> okay, so can someone look up where the star coin is? Because I I don't I don't I don't. I don't I'm on it. I don't understand. What level are we on again? Uh, well, seven, seven ghost. Yeah. <laughs> World seven okay. ghost house, yeah. World seven ghost house. Star coins? Yeah. All right, I'm watching a video now. All right, you get. All right, is it the bruisers? Um, we've. We've dealt with the right. bruisers. We've first, done first, first, the first room. Like the first room of the bruisers is one of them. Yeah, we've done that one. I'm watching you... the video just to be sure. You're too late, Harry. You're gonna have to die or complete the level. Uh, I'm worried that it's gonna be like in some hidden block in this room is the thing. Wait, is it Star Coin two or three? Uh, three. Free. free. All right, Andrew, I'm gonna do it. Too late, Harry. You're gonna just play to end the level. Dun 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 dun. All right. Um. Okay. You know when you drop outside? <laughs> uh, oh. Apparently, there's a door. If you hit a, apparently there's a, apparently that fake door in the door on the bottom and you drop out oh oh that's okay a real okay that's a real door okay i know what i know what to do now i see that was also loki like the coolest thing i've done what i didn't see it like i was like 
on the edge of the flagpole and let a crow just showed up and I just kind of casually jumped on it to get to the top. Boy! Dang it. That was not cool. You can jump on those guys, right? me, ball, yeah, you, lame. yeah, you can jump on those. I think they take multiple hits. If you, unless you ground pound them, though. It's tough right, to... Hopefully I'm catching yeah. back up. I hope my video loads. So we go through the secret... Right, are you outside? No, we just restarted off. So you go through the secret area and then just do this and then fall down and all that. When you drop outside, like through the top door, the door on the bottom is real. Right. Because I'm so used to I'm so used to just having those doors disappear. I didn't even consider that. No. Like I said, like I said, it's not it's not you it's not something that looks unusual. They play with your head these stages. Mhm. Mm uh, okay. How do I? How do I want to like just move you guys over here? So <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap, that was a bad jump. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably the best one I got no. yet. <laughs> oh good. Just two... Okay, I'll just send you guys down here. <laughs> this is Hello. really stupid. <laughs> oh, that's not even high enough. Uh, how do I... How much? I <laughs> How am I supposed to? Oh, thanks. Ah, my video will show for me. Sit a boost. Mm. Yeah. Silly boost. All the alcohol. <laughs> Is Tom still streaming? Uh, I think yeah. I think Tom's still streaming. Let me see where he is in the case. By right now, he should be done. Drop down to the left. Yep. And now, uh, what's, what's this? It's right there. It's just a standard room, I suppose. And, oh, okay. Let's, uh, not... Yeah, I hear. Oh, big the butt, okay. I'll dig the butt. Yeah, pretty much. The door you probably came in is fake now. Yeah, that's what I assume. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Can I actually? Okay, no, they finished. The... Okay, no, they finished the. Uh... They finished the first trial. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's done. Go. Uh, have we? I don't. Have we ever gone? Um, a special, uh, level finish thing where, like, you have to, you have to have a specific time and you get, like, a mushroom house. I don't think we've had that. Once, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you're gonna have to go around Lakitu. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was kinda hoping you'd stay going up down just to say nope. That would be hilarious. Oh, I remember this level. This is like one of the like the most like <laughs> like hilarious levels in multiplayer because it's just so easy to troll because like one I think it's like the person who jumps on the platform first or like who activates the thing first is the one that gets to control the platforms and it's so easy to just troll everyone else with it. This is going to be one of those stages where you have to hit go to the specific pipe isn't it? Dang it, that was bad. I'm gonna leave the call briefly. Oh, okay. No! Why? Get! Oh! Try to keep it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ma Monaco. <laughs> Yeah, we're running out of power-ups. Oh, 
Bye, Monokuma. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oops. No, kill yourself. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Yeah, boy. I'm reading a Reddit thread right now, and it says that while well, Bylock has a ton of dislikes on his trailer, it was the second highest amount of likes. Mm. What? Wait, what? And. I'm saying of the Fighters Pass characters, Byleth has more likes. He has a ton of dislikes, but he has more likes also than Hero, Terry, or Banjo and Kazooie. That's interesting. I got, honestly, honestly, Joker still has the is the winner. The DLC showcases. I should be that. I mean, can't clarify that. Mm. Well, I got. Or I got. Look up Joker. Joker has more by about fifty thousand. Who has the most likes of the uh, deal of like uh, uh, a newcomer? Newcomer? Is that including DLC? Yes. I'll get to it. Um, ranking up the likes. I still, of... I still remember how like well. Th oh, there's the thing. Here's the thing. Cat, si we we can't have to count Simon and Richter as one. Yeah. And Incineroar and, and and Ken. I guess. Hard to judge because the showcases are pretty much uploaded through one channel, but the trailers kind of show up or split across multiple videos. Hmm. I still remember the weird, how weird that day was. At the time, was when they announced Piranha Plant. Yeah, that was so bizarre. I still Last remember episode. your reaction. Huh? Like, you like, you frog plant and you go, hi. Oh, yeah! Whoa! You're like, what? I, yeah, I was so confused. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I did I was like, it's a piranha plant, and like, and then, I, I, it only clicked to me once piranha plant started dodging. Yeah, I was like, what the hell am I looking at? The God. greatest thing in the world. Clearly. Oh, wait a minute! I recognize this room! This is the room where John was an asshole! <laughs> That's one of the most famous TRG bits. Oh, man. Everybody oh. everybody else would die were in bubbles. Oh. And he just goes... And so, but, he's, but he's forming lies by bouncing on those bullet bills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am an asshole! I am an asshole! I am such... It's an asshole! Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. So I'm assuming that we're gonna do 9 and 10, eight, world 8 and 9 in one more se in the next session. Um. Well, actually, it's only 10 o'clock over here. Yeah, I don't know how much you guys wanna keep going, but. I mean, I'll go as long as I think you want. I'll Huh? Um, I'm okay with tapping out after this. Okay. Because, uh, after... I mean... The last thing I want is to get burnt out because... Because... I remember playing this game multiplayer, like, most of it... Pretty much in, like, two sessions. 
And that really killed our mood because doing this this game this game in multiplayer. No, it's well that and the and it. I don't know. Uh, this is these games. Well, the especially um, let's do Mario U, I guess. But um, after a while. I do get uh, tired of it, and this this is not a game I like being in like one session. It just doesn't hold my interest for that long, or like long enough to really do that, make me want to do that. All right. Hang on, I have a pimple on my chin. I need to get rid of it. For that information, Jason. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me check the level wait, guide wait, for wait, this. Wait, add it at and see what actual problem is going on. Oh my god! Star coin really three at the everyone. end of the level. Yes. At the end of the level, instead of taking a red warp pipe, Mario and company must use the bullet bills to get into the green pipe oh, further okay. to the right. Okay. Once there, Mario and company. Once there, Mario and company must go left, and again use bullet bills to reach the third star coin atop the tallest bill blaster. Do you think there's enough bullet bills here? I don't know, I can't see it. <laughs> there's a whole, like, like, again. there's a whole, like, mountain of these things. Alright, we got the last star coin. Oh, cool. There's still a secret exit we're missing, though, is the thing. I don't know where it is. Because, like, you see, like, the clouds up there. We're supposed to go up there somehow. Oh, right, I remember this. This was like one of the first stages advertised for the game, and it's like one of the last stages. Huh? Uh, this level with um, these cloud enemies that remind me of these enemies from Lava Reef. Mm. No! Okay, whatever. I forgot this character swears his, swears his ass off. <laughs> Whoa, okay, it's just clouds everywhere. No, actually, no, I didn't forget that. I remember this guy swears his ass off. <laughs> it's not very often you hear fuck that often. <laughs> In anime game, even. No. Oh, wait till you meet a oh, Fuyu Nico in Nanova 2. He's also one of the best characters in the game. Mm. Not, e not even not even because of um, the swearing. He's just a really well-written character. Mm. Okay, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get that stock in without the propeller. If it's Karagumas existed. Oh, yeah. What? Power Goombas. Yeah. Well, I thought he said Monokuma. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was a level. Okay. Then we're gonna get the proper fireworks with a end le level end, are we? At this rate, maybe not. Oh, excuse me, maybe not. Okay, well, when you are trying to adapt 25 hours of a game into 13 episodes, okay, let's, let's just. Oh, it's more of a stuff. recap. Oh, it's more of a re. The the, the, the Donga Robo One M is more of a recap. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, can we? Probably why we probably maybe why we should watch it. Can we look up um where this uh uh where, where this um secret X is because I prefer to do that before the castle. Like, I, mm. I, I have no idea where this thing is. Help me! No. 
please. Because we've got a secret exit here, so it can't be this. I, it might be the fortress. But I don't. I doubt it though. It's probably. It's probably the. The. It's probably seventh fray. I. Hmm. Monokuma. Is anyone like World Seven? World Seven Fortress Tower has a secret exit. Oh. Okay. What? What? How? Wh Where's the secret exit, please? Second area, the player should enter a hidden alcove in the right wall below the slowest, no, second to highest brown fighting platform. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna play the stage normally. Let me know when I'm, like, getting closer to it. Sweet DLC. <laughs> I fear for new su the new Super Mario Bros. 2 playthrough because that's gonna be like such a mess. Shorter game, isn't it? Uh, I think. Just by nature of it being really easy. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. Try and grab a friend for that one. <laughs> that would be nice if I could do that, but. Okay, is it in the first room or the second room? And there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to. I want to go to the bathhouse. I don't have to. I don't have to go up through here, right? Is that just for the star coin? Yeah, it just says for the second area. Okay. Uh, I think it's almost, wait, was this the? First? Yeah, we. This is the first room. I think this is was the second left. Okay. So this uh, counter of a room is back. <laughs> We just gotta hug the walls this time somewhere. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like color coded. In the second area, the player should enter a hidden alcove in the right, in the right wall below oh. the second to highest. Below the second to highest. So we gotta go to the top of this room. And hopefully, not die in the process. Hmm. Uh, too much. Uh, well, on the plus side, uh, you can use the as a wall. Oh my god, there's too many of these guys. Ah! Is it over there? Here? No. Ah! Second to high. <laughs> Nothing. Second to high. Second to highest brown sliding platform. Huh. I'm just gonna like slide down like, and hug the wall, I guess. It's not that. I don't like this. Oh my god! Oh. Alright. Okay. We'll go with that, I guess. That's really cryptic, actually. What? Are you guys still there? Yes. No. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought my internet crashed. Okay, I have a funny story for this stage. Uh, so the, the same, the multiplayer uh, run I've been talking about, um, this stage basically broke us, because, um, I mean, we're, just by nature of, like, we're do, just doing awful in general, and with the multiplayer stuff and, uh, and all that, and, um, <laughs> the, <laughs> there was this one, one point when, uh, we were doing really well, 
And then one of our friends, uh, uh, me and Jerry's friend just decided to be a jerk and just t put himself into a bubble when we, when the, the two of us died. And <laughs> I just screamed out no, and then Jerry was just like, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you. Ah, <laughs> uh, the matching Mattelli maneuver. Yeah. Yeah, there's no checkpoints in this level, so have fun. Yeah. I remember there being a- I'm sure you, I'm sure you knew that when, when Joey screwed you over. <laughs> oh, that's angry. Yeah, this, uh, this is probably one of the trickier levels. I remember there being the equivalent in Mario U as well. I forgot that Celeste goes like that. You little bitch! <laughs> Gun. I love these characters. Oh, why did you not jump high enough? Well, Celeste actually dropped her character for a second. <laughs> <sighs> By the way, Scrappy, can, uh, can you see if uh, Lewis and Scrappy, <laughs> Lewis, uh, yeah, see if you, see if you, uh, yourself, uh, is online. That makes sense. Um, now see if um, can you see if uh, Lewis and uh, Xavier are available? Oh, Yoshi, hi. I wasn't even aware I like of the Yoshi level. I, I do yeah, like I didn't how know. This is. Huh? I do like how hidden this level is. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the most well hidden stages. Because, like, usually when you find a secret exit or whatever, it, like, shows you the pipe you're going yeah, in. See where it goes. Yeah, you, you, yeah, but, like, in that case, you just go for a wall and it just transitions. Here it's up. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's amazing the the going like up or whatever. Cause it's, <laughs> um, cause um, uh, brain scratch did. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna go on this for ages because because it's just the topic by Yoshi. Um, but brain scratch did a Rise of Skywalker discussion, and it was hilarious by the end of it where. Uh, Ryan was, Ryan's complaint was just like, just aim up, or just, just, fl or just fly up, and it was just, <laughs> oh god, it was just, it was so stupid. It was like, hilarious. I really wish I had the propeller for this. Did a one-up just drop or something? Yeah, the one-ups just kind of drop in this stage. The only other thing I remember from the multiplayer run is uh, Jerry calling these uh, things adorable, which they are. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bless you. Yes. Thank you. Just, just so I, I will, I'm just so I'm not like forcing, yeah, forcing it on you. You, you are okay with like. Uh, Continuing like Love Live or Star Wars today, aren't are you? What? Uh, I, I was talking. I was uh, is for Scrappy. Maybe. Okay. I need I need to take a break break to get food though. Okay, that's fair. I had to get out of here. How the hell would you expect me to live after that? I think it's supposed to like take another. I think it's supposed to take the later one down. Maybe. Hmm. Unfortunately, I hate these auto scrolls because they have no checkpoints. Yeah. I tried to die, do that in time.
Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that probably screwed me up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna, gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> so how's life? Life's it's fine. <laughs> so how's your sex life? <laughs> Don't actually answer that. I refuse to. <laughs> How is Yoshi? Like, Yoshi is just hidden in this level. Yeah, but I need to- I can't spin the clouds away if I have Yoshi as the thing. Can you just off-screen a, a parabeetle? Yeah. Boo. Actually, this- Yoshi might- Yoshi would help for the end bit. So, if I can just memorize- if I can just pay attention to the, the clouds, like, then I should be able to just be able to find the star coins through them, if I'm good. I'm so generous with the 1-ups. These bugs are making bird noises. <laughs> okay, uh, you know where the last star coin is, right, by the way? Yeah, it's by the end. Make sure you're on the very- I think the very last turtle is your safest way out. Well, if I keep Yoshi, then we should be able to have some more leeway. Yoshi! Not really sure what you're gonna need a fire flower for in this level, but okay. No, it's- they- they knew that propell the propeller suit would make this, like, too easy, so... It's like, screw it, we'll, we'll give you an extra hit point, which doesn't really help in this level's case. Because screw you. Okay, it's like down here somewhere. I think. Yeah, it's down there. Maybe at the end of the long road. Yeah. Go! Maybe like... Yeah. Maybe a little late. And then... Go! Yoshi! Go. Yeah. You didn't even have to sacrifice Yoshi. That's nice. Please don't put a random pit here. Oh. So wait. Wait, is that a secret exit? Maybe? Wait. No, there's no secret exit. It's probably just like a What's one up. The... At least it's the exact same the area. Pole? Oh, okay. oh, it's how you get the oh, pole. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that's a moot point because we already have 99 lives. Yeah. Oh, well. And Yoshi for nothing. <laughs> well, it's not like we can take him to the next level anyway. We got another star, I guess. I think that's the equivalent you're of- getting, You're getting close to a wooing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's the equivalent second... of a back, back door entrance, that, that vine. Yes. Second path of the castle, which basically takes you to the boss door. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna do that. I, I actually, I'm gonna, I'll show that off as like the last thing for the session, but we're gonna play the stage properly first. Koopaling boss battle upcoming. Yep. And we're still doing his stuff. Okay, I, rem I remember this stage quite a bit. This, this is a lot more fun than the fortress of the of the world. Cause it's just credit for this castle being a little different visually from the rest of the castles. Yeah, this is a lot more visually distinct, and it, un unlike the awkward uh, platform crap from the last stage, this this one is just some good old fashioned like platforming and whatnot. So I don't really have much. Complaints about this one. And again, like it's uh, a lot more distinct than most of the castles in the game, so it has that going for it as well. Mm. I mean, to be f I mean, to be fair, so did the fortress, I, I suppose. Uh, 
with how, like, how much, like, the fact that you're outside for half of it, but, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna close Tom's stream. Mm. Uh, that's a nice looking castle. Yeah. You probably, you probably not been paying attention to it all. <laughs> I mean, it helps the fact that it's like, it's like outside, basically. It's, uh... Oh, you can't carry these guys? Apparently not. Ugh! I told my friend, yay, Joker up, and she said, make a big smiley emote. <laughs> yay. I see that pipe down there. Right, Can good. you reach it? Where are these coming from? G God. God himself. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, I can, I can believe that after what we saw in Rayman Legends. <laughs> oh, God, what is this? I can't see Oh, it. hi. That's fair. You have to describe it for me so that I can't see it. Uh, a room that was just filled with like nothing but clouds and <laughs> just <laughs> the spike pillars just appeared with like no warning. Well, I see our coin. Yeah, I see it over there. I don't really like this room. Yeah, it's a bit much. I can't see anything. Well, I could see Mario. <laughs> I could see the U. I could see the life counter. I'm so. I'm like. Like. I'm always so paranoid that I'm just gonna. They're just gonna end up making me skip out on a star coin. By like making me go further in the level. Oh, come on. So that's how some, some games tend to do that. Yeah. I think it happened earlier in the session, actually. Oh, cool. Wait, 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 there? Yeah, it's just start right there. That's what I hit. Okay. That's the one hit. Now we just make a run for it. <laughs> God, standing, standing on both platforms with only four people. <laughs> oh, God. I, I just go into the bubble. Yeah, this stage is just. And those are four players. Oh. That'd be that's funnier. Oh, hello. What's it? Is that? Oh, that, that has to. The... Oh, that's that... the way. That... Yeah, that's probably that's the. That's the back door entrance. Yeah, that's probably what that is. Yeah, that's probably that back door entrance you were paranoid about. Yeah. No, well, no. Well, I'm not paranoid about the back door entrance. I'm <laughs> worried about like say like you go to a, a secret area. And then when you come out, you're sent, f like, far enough in the stage that you miss the next star coin. Which in- Alright, since I can't see it, what, what what did Kamek do? Um... I think this is- yeah, he just makes free platforms appear. So... So, in, oh, so you're floating- you're fl constantly floating above the bottom of the pit. Yeah. And he shoots out, like, a- like, a bunch of, uh, spells now. And he kind of just buggers off every time he does that, so just gonna have to hit him immediately. Well, yeah, she's I, still I doing see... this. Yeah. When I see Ludwig, I do think that he, I do think like he's a magician. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. Or if we're gonna go by, the, or if we're gonna go by the Sip Five Mario cartoon. Cookie Von Koopa. Yeah. Okay, we're going. That must be a long fall down. Yeah. Hurrah! Well, I mean, better than like Wendy and I think I think Larry or, or Lemmy or something who burned in lava in Mario in Mario World. Didn't like all of them burn in Mario Mario World though? Like. No. No, I Morton. Roy, I, mean, just, I think Roy and Morton just disappeared into the never. Oh, okay. Mario, like, destroyed all the castles, so they were probably dead anyways. <laughs> like, Mario was not screwing around. He made your job. Well, he's not, <laughs> if he didn't need a body, he was destroying everything. He also apparently <laughs> shrinks the castle to, to scale. 
Yeah, he, like, he pretty much just murders the Koopalings in that game, I swear. No email. Yeah, so, uh, a nice, uh, a nice, uh, I don't want to call it a plot twist, because it really isn't, but, like, a nice change of pace is that... From the mortar. In World A, um, since there's no Koopalings left, the fortress has you fight Kamek himself, which is really cool, I think. But... Yeah, we never got to fight Kamek in a, in, a, in a mainline Mario game specifically until this. Yeah. Because uh, usually... This is Kamek. Magic Cooper refers to just a generic enemy type. In Japan, they're all called Kamek because they have to make it contru confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so when you think, like, Kamek specifically... Why you get Kami Koopa? Huh? Kami Koopa. Oh, that's a different- that's a different- The AD doesn't give a damn about the RPGs. Ka Kami Cooper is another- is just a different character entirely. I think it'd be a better, like, thing. Yeah. But I think, like, Kamek is the- the one that raised Bowser, basically. Okay, I don't- I don't see much of a reason to fight the boss again, so that-, that that's just what that backdoor entrance is. So that exists. Um, but... If we're yeah, if we're done, we can stop here, I guess. So, probably have a perfect score, right? Huh? So far, we have a perfect score, right? Yeah, we haven't gone to a super guide showing show, showing up. Hopefully, that stays because I fit. World World Nine, I don't think has a super guide at all. So as soon as we get to. Yeah, we just have to beat the game, and then, the, and then once we once it once once we get the stars, then it'll officially give us the thing. Yeah, as soon as if as soon as we complete World Eight, uh, we've basically locked in the shiny stars. But we'll see what happens. We've still got one world left, and then happy days. Happy nights. Yep. So uh, probably gonna be one more session. Yeah, it's probably gonna be one more session of this game, and that'll be it, so... Yay. <laughs> I don't know. This is a video game that exists, and we'll see you guys for the last session. Arigato! Gazaimasu! Stay fresh! Yes.